Hey guys, it is Wednesday here in West Virginia, and I didn't think I was going to do another video this quickly. I thought I wasn't going to be back till Friday, but I'm going to go ahead and do this one today since it's hump day. I've got a 4x4 truck to help drive over that hump and hump day. <laughs> so that was probably the only reason I did this today because it's kind of a good theme. And I wasn't even going to unbox this one because when I got it, it was disappointing because if you can see the front fender there, there's a little scratch on the front fender and there's some weird discoloration going on in the grill. It looks like they painted the whole thing black and then there's areas where the black did not adhere to and there's actually like a chip in the chrome above the headlight. There's also a little tiny chip on the hood of the truck, but <clears throat> the seller... Uh, I got it from, it's from a bigger seller. They don't actually always look at these. They have people working in the warehouse for them and they just throw them in the box and that's it. And this is the last one he had. So since it was a big order that I made from him with some other out of world cars and trucks, uh, he told me that just hang on to it and then he would refund the money for the purchase and I just pay the shipping. So I was... For that one, that's great for me. Although, this truck is not going to be a permanent fixture in my collection. I'm going to hang on to it until I can get another one to replace it. But, um, yeah, it's a great looking truck. Uh, and then they have the red counterpart. Let me grab him real quick. And this is the first one to come out. And pretty cool looking truck in red i really like it in red um but yeah and the front bumper is a little loose on this one i forgot about that <laughs> but anyways yeah the m2 quality control really is shitty um still is although their vehicles are rolling a lot better than they used to but there's a lot of stuff getting out with the parts not attached very well as you see with the front bumper um and chips in the paint runs in the paint missing tampos and stuff it's not so good uh but they do roll much better uh especially the 4x4 trucks with the 4x4 trucks i never had an issue with the rolling very rarely would i get one even with a slight wobble i don't know why but their 4x4 truck seems like their axles press into the wheels straight with no issues so let me put that big red over to the side here and then we can uh, I was putting him on top of crushing some other cars over there. So anyways, we'll continue with this guy, his white counterpart. So I was really happy to see this one in another color scheme because I like that strobe stripe that turns into kind of like, not really a pinstripe, but a side stripe here. It looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, I had the radio on in the background and they're going nuts with some stupid commercial. Sorry about that. So anyways, um... Yeah, let's slide him out and take a look at him. This is a set that was limited to 7,250 pieces, and they made 750 chase pieces of this unit. Um, so, go ahead and pull the sticker loose, and you see it has Dodge on the back. That's pretty cool. That'd be a good backdrop for some pictures with the white one and the red one. Um, even though there's some flaws on this white one, I can still flip it to the passenger side, maybe. We'll see here in a minute. And then... Uh, maybe get some good picks. Yeah, the passenger side seems to be okay with no flaws in the paint. Um, so, yeah, this is one, even though I'm a diehard Mopar guy and I'm a fanatic about these new Dodge, well, not really new anymore, they're a year old, um, Dodge trucks from M2, the 72 to 80 models, or 72 to 79. I don't think they've made an 80 yet. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I love them. I keep try to keep current with them, but they keep launching them. It's crazy trying to keep track of them, especially now around Christmas. There's a ton of them coming up. I just seen somebody post that the O'Reilly's Christmas ornaments are in, and there's a dark green power wagon, um, and it's a macho power wagon, too. And it just says O'Reilly's on the door. Um, that one, I would try to take the O'Reilly's off the door. But as you can see, yeah, the front grille does not look good at all. Um, and that flaw above the headlight is pretty noticeable. Then I could have overlooked because I could swap the grille with another parts truck that I had. Because I have a couple model kits that I keep 
in stock for uh, this type of situation where I want to swap a chassis or I want to swap chrome for black or whatever. Uh, black parts, I did it with a step side, which it came out pretty good. Um, and this one, if I had some flat paint from like testers or uh, someone like that, a model paint is what I'm referring to, I could probably just brush over it and it would be fine because that's what it looks like they did on this one. They blacked out the whole front grill. The red variant of it is not done like that. The red variant has a lot more detail to it, but I, I looked at some pictures online and it looks like all of them are painted mostly all black with no chrome detail at all it was just kind of blacked out um but yeah that chrome spot i couldn't fix but i could overlook that one maybe that's not too bad but the chip in the fender that's the bad thing and then after i started looking closer there's even a little chip on the hood too but the chip on the hood eh, that's kind of minor but the one on the fender, I know it's not that big, but it is noticeable. Um, if this was a silver or gray truck, it wouldn't be so bad. But I'm going to go ahead and unscrew him off the base. And the Roadrunner is cool. And it goes with my theme with these beater cars. you have seen this diorama that we're uh, working at today. But the problem is the Roadrunner is way overplayed, in my opinion, um, for the project cars. They should have done something different because um, the last auto hauler set they did with a beater with the A100 van, it was the same car with a... Uh, with the A100, and it was in orange, and it's, I have it right here, I can show you guys, so here it is, <clears throat> it's the exact same thing, I mean, there's really no difference at all, it's bare metal door with Bondo on the bottom, <laughs> so, and then you flip it over, the only thing different is the hoods, this one has a, like, 383, a regular Roadrunner hood, this one has the liftoff style six-pack hood, as you can see, and it may even be a sick, no, it says it's a Hemi car. And then on this side, you have a replacement quarter panel going up to the B pillar. Same thing here. Same exact car. It says one's orange, one's yellow, and there is a hood variation. So I guess it's cool. It's worth keeping. Um, but I don't know. How, I'm not going to put it over here in the junkyard. It'll probably go in my storage box for other projects and stuff like that. But anyways, uh... The truck. The truck is the main reason I bought the set. It wasn't really for the Roadrunner because I'm kind of over um, my, I guess I could call it binge for buying beater uh, cars, barn finds, and stuff like that. So now I'm back to my truck fascination um, because now they're launching a ton of these trucks. And as you can see, we got the new Macho Power Wagon ornament set the other week. And then we got the new green power wagon for it. And now we got this pick -em up truck. And I'm really disappointed that it was a little messed up. But as I said, I can put it on this side and then have the red one facing off with it. With that backdrop of the pick -em up truck or Dodge. And it will be perfect. So that's... I guess not too disappointing, and as I said, for the price, I couldn't beat it, and uh, we'll try to find another one. Hopefully, Walmart around here will start getting them. I've heard a couple other people say that they started hearing of Walmarts getting these sets, but our Walmart hasn't gotten anything really good when it comes to, comes to auto haulers over the past I don't know, maybe five months. The last thing that was good was the dually. Um, the Coca it wasn't one of these, sorry. It's a square body dually with the Coca-Cola in. I think we unboxed it. Um, and it had the 59 vet. I forget what they call it. XK something or other. It's the race car vet that nobody really buys. They're kind of like pig warmers at my Walmart. But anyways, that set was the last good set we got and that was like over a month ago I think that they got put on the shelves and 
now we're kind of just anticipating something new because it's Christmas coming soon. Next weekend's Halloween. So I would think that we would start getting a lot of stuff. Um... But it hasn't really happened. We've been getting some here and there, but nothing like overwhelming. So, uh, hoping that we do get these sets in so I can just buy one for SRP at Walmart. If not, I'll have to try to get another one off eBay. It's a lot nicer when you can buy them in person and look at them. Because this guy probably I would have left at Walmart. I probably would not have bought it. Um... Although I may have because I didn't have that one. It's just disappointing about the chip. But anyways, guys, hopefully you don't have any problems with yours when you get them. If you have to order them online and such, hopefully you get nice ones with no uh, issues whatsoever and such. But uh, I just wanted to show you this truck because it is a new release before um, I sent it back. But actually now I don't have to send it back, which is cool. Uh, now, anyways, we'll be back again on Friday to crack open something else and not sure what it is yet, but be sure to tune back in because we will have something for you in store. So, uh, enjoy the rest of your week. It is hump day, only two days to go to the weekend, guys. So, try to get through it and I will talk to you on Friday.